So it's like there's two, these are both young um, swords, air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or it could be someone acting like an air sign. But, you know, when air signs are angry, they're usually, you know, they can reverse, indicates like they're perturbed. Um, they're usually straight to the point, very cutting and sharp with their words, you know. They don't have time to waste with emotions and BS. Well, you're, uh, you're an air sign. <laughs> you know this. Um, but they're two young air signs. So I might be doing a love reading for a young couple who are like... <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, my throat, my throat. So what we got going in the throat here is when we're not communicating. Two young air signs and we're not communicating. Okay. So there's a new love starting, but there's a there's communication isn't happening. And we have the um these two, the six of cups, someone from the past, could be past life, past previous part of this life, but it's reversed. And everything, this and the two are reversed. So it's like you guys just met and you're not talking or communicating. And what's really interesting is in the position of, of hopes is, is the Princess of Cups. And this card is about listening to your higher self. And it's almost like you, and it was reversed. So it's like you're not hearing or listening you need to listen you're it's even in the position of you know like the hopes position so it's like you're hoping you're hearing your inner voice and all you have to do is sit down center yourself you know ground yourself you know from your spine sit so your spine straight and imagine a cord going down to the center of the earth and, and anchoring itself in the light that is the center of the earth and um, and then fo you can focus on your third eye, wherever you're at, you know, third eye. Anybody can uh, focus on third eye and connect. Um, and, and listen. Just still yourself and you'll hear. You don't, it's no magic trick involved here. Okay, so we have a young couple not communicating. We have a new love starting. It looks like you guys just met. And um, and it, the foundation is like a whole lot of choices. Yeah, you could choose <laughs> not to move forward with this relationship. But, but I don't think that's what's going to happen. Um... We have the Three of Cups as the outcome. So this is a celebration. Um, so I have the feeling that you guys are going to communicate. Start working that out. Um, your intuition here, this card about listening to your intuition. You, you know exactly what to do if you listen. Uh, also, you know, if you can be center yourself and put white light and release any anxiety or upset you have with this person and surround them in white light. When I do that, the phone rings instantly. It's bizarre. Happens every time. I'm not kidding. And so if you want to resolve a conflict with a person genuinely let go of whatever the conflict is surround them in white light phone usually rings right afterwards the phone or the doorbell um so the rest of the cards here so what we have the center of the reading is a love a new love beginning we have two people a male and a female young um not communicating and what we have, there has been like some sort of battle, fight, or something, a struggle. And, um, you, you know, you're, you've won this victory. It's one of those victories that isn't great to win. It doesn't, it's like both parties lose. There's bloodshed on both sides. 
you might be walking away with all the swords, but, you know, there's dead bodies everywhere kind of deal. Well, you know, not literally, but you know what I mean. There's, like, a lot of people licking their wounds and trying to get better and recover. Um, in the foundation, there's choices, an opportunity for choice. So, um... Don't know what that's about. Only that you have more than one. Excuse me. You have more than one choice here. This is like, it's not even two o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm yeah. You have more than one choice here. Okay, so if the yawn was the boredom. It's like somebody's bored. Don't be bored. Um. It's like impatience with this conflict. Crowning is, crowning the reading is the Six of Cups reversed. So this is a new meeting, a meeting of someone from the past. And it's kind of like gone awry with a conflict. And then moving into the immediate future is the Ten of Pentacles reversed. This is, now why is this reversed? I'm not sure. This is some... Um, Happy family, money, um, family, money. Um, so it's like maybe the money isn't available. It could be inheritance. or I'm hearing inheritance. It's like an inheritance that's like not, you haven't collected on it yet or something. Or um, And then the way you're feeling about the situation is, is the Eight of Pentacles reverse. It's like, this is this card is fairly far down the line of accomplishing something, but it's reversed, so it's like something has gotten in the way, an obstacle. So it could be because it's just above the card, the Ten of Pentacles, and this is an eight, so it's like we're almost there, at, you know, at accomplishing the ten and then receiving this money, but there's a delay, some sort of delay. And then in the position of the truth of the situation is our princess of swords is reversed. She's in her, you know, like, ticked off place, you know. She's like, uh, you know, being... <laughs> the problem is the angry princess of swords, okay. And the solution is listening to your intuition. The fish here, that's the solution. And and then the outcome is a celebration. So I think that advice is pretty clear, isn't it? What? No, that can't be right. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do um I'm I was I had a stopwatch set, but this reading hasn't gone forty three minutes. So what? That's why I'm going. That can't be right. It's not the reading. I'm just keeping the trying to keep the readings under forty minutes long because sometimes I get carried away and I just keep going on and on and on. Um, I can't do them that long. I just can't. It becomes too exhausting too. Okay, so what I'm going to do is a love reading. This was a love reading. But I'm going to do one that will probably be more clarification. Okay, and we're using the vice versa I'm hearing for this reading. So we're doing a love reading and clarifying with the vice versa. So we have Adoring Virtue, which will be at the center of the reading. What does Gemini need to know? The lovely air sign. Is this it? No. <laughs> Keep going. How funny. No. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> okay. Past life relationship, you've known each other before. Okay, well, that explains what's going on in this reading. There's a past life relationship, 
And with that, there can be past life memories of conflict or just the conflict just starting off where it left off. <laughs> you know, so um, already. And again, we got the listen to your intuition. This is a different deck, but this is what popped out. This is the same card in a different deck. The um, Knight of the Knight of Cups. Wow! And then I shuffled again, and the card came up again. It's like whoa. Okay. So these are vice versa. They have cards on both sides. I'll turn it over. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I don't reverse these cards. I lay them flat. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, so do I cut? Do I just start? Okay, cut it. Out. All right, so in our foundation, we have the Six of Pentacles. What the hell is that about? Oh, that's collecting money. And that can be inheritance money. Um, we have the full reverse, so a new beginning, and then we have heartbreak. What the hell? Okay. It's at the bottom of the deck. At the bottom of the deck, we have the um, the sun, the happiness card. This is all about happiness. So this is the outcome, but right now we have um, this is interesting. In the foundation, we have the Six of Pentacles. This is money owed to you. This could be like spousal support, taxes, uh, I don't know, child support. Um, 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 it could be inheritance because it's not, uh, yeah, so I think you're collecting the inheritance pretty quickly. And then we have this, um, the Two of Swords reverse. So you're about ready to come out of denial regarding the situation, and the situation is heartbreak. Um, so maybe, and I think that this heartbreak is the part of this past life relationship. Maybe you need to um, to ask yourself, you know, what happened in the past. Because we have a new beginning, but the fool is reversed. So um, it's like you guys have to look at something. You have to look at something and resolve it. That's what I'm getting. And there's an inheritance this money coming so um, so these two cards together is you know coming out of denial and accepting that there's been heartbreak in the past probably that's what I'm getting that's what I'm getting heartbreak in the past and in the center of the reading is this is a past life relationship. Everything has been saying that. And there's pain right now. There's, um, But the outcome, again, the outcome, happy. We've got another, you know, we have the celebration card and we get the happy. But the issue to be looked at is um, a heartbreak. And maybe, maybe you just broke each other's heart just in the beginning, or it's a heartbreak from the past. So you might have memories of a past life with this person, or feelings that are just shooting up that's creating conflict. So now I'm going to do uh, an oracle card. And this is the Journey of Love deck. This is a beautiful deck about loving yourself. It's absolutely lovely. This is mostly self-love. Whoa, didn't even have to shuffle. The blood dance. Okay, um, don't let that scare you. 
Because there hasn't been one negative card in here yet. <laughs> so, let me see. I haven't read, read that one yet. 42. The heart craves life and the blood responds. A relationship to each other's to each other. Life happens. The desire and the action. The movement of cycles. Drawing in and letting go. Rushing to the center and pushing far away to the extremities. It is the cycle of relationship. Dancing between self and other. Into oneness and into individuality. So it is with human beings in relationship with each other and with human beings and the divine essence. Sometimes the heart of God feels so close. It's as though our own inner passion is the very blood rushing through it. Then we journey far, bringing our nourishment to where it is needed. To those who are cold and lonely, to the forest reaches of our own dark self, that we may, if very brave, dare to love completely. What? I need to read that again. Then we journey far, bring our nourishment to where we need, where it is needed. To those who are cold and lonely, to the farthest reaches of our dark self that we may, if we, if very brave, dare to love completely. Wow, this, this is so perfect for the reading I just did for you. Though we can be lonely for the warmth of the center, the warmth of the center, then craving that feeling of being at home soon enough, we are called back to the core of the divine heart, and the cycle continues. Remember that you are always in the dance of life. You are never apart from the divine. It is just that sometimes in our natural flow, it is easier to feel that divine presence than other times. Yet you are always the blood connected to the heart. This oracle brings you the confirmation that you are connected to the divine source, to all that is. If you are experiencing a phase of feeling cut off from yourself, from your body, from another, or from the divine, even from your own feelings, spiritual connection, or intuition, be reassured that, there is, that this is temporary and part of the cycle of life itself. Soon all connection shall return with even greater warmth and nourishment, welcoming you home again with great love. If you feel you have been journeying in life, and if you feel you have been journeying in life and fear that you have lost your way, do not trouble yourself, precious soul. You are never far from the divine heart and will always be called home. <clears throat> so my throat is it's like so it's like maybe you're having trouble speaking up <clears throat> there's a little poem love's language speaks like sound of falling leaves caressing wind to bear aroma sweet you ask if I can love in the me in measure true and give emotions way the scales do. Each tear releases more than words can say, expressing all your heart's wants to convey. Oh my God, and that's the throat clogging up. It's about expressing yourself. This is beautiful, 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 beautiful. 